Hey logo designers, today I wanted to show you how you can exclude logo variations from your logo packages using Logo Package Express. After you click Make Print Logos or Make Web Logos, you'll be presented with a grid of logo variations. You can delete any logo variations you do not want and they won't be exported. So in this example, let's say that I never want the tagline to be alone by itself. I only want it to be with the logo type or with the full logo. So it's very easy. I can just select all of this artwork and press delete. I do not need to delete the artboards or anything else, just the artwork itself. Another thing I might want to delete are redundant logos. So you can see in the reverse options, I have a white logo type. And in the full color options, I have a green logo mark. But when I come down to inverted, I have another white logo type and another green logo mark. These would be redundant and the files would look exactly the same. The black background in the inverted versions is simply so that you can see the white artwork on these artboards. So I'm going to delete these redundant options. Now neither the tagline by itself or these redundant logos will be exported when I press the export web logos button. Let me show you another really common example where you might need to delete a lot of logo variations. I'm going to reset the extension and I'm going to go to another logo. This logo is all black and it is really only ever supposed to be this one color. So let's see what happens when we set this logo. I'm going to press set logo and I'm going to choose the logo mark and I'm going to choose the logo type. And now I'm going to make print logos. And what we're going to see is a ton of redundant options. So in this case, since nothing is really in color, I'm going to delete all of the color variations. I'm also going to delete the grayscale versions because black is black. It doesn't matter if it's grayscale or not. And I'm going to delete all of the inverted versions because they are redundant. And also I don't need Pantone for white. And lastly, the Pantone options are also irrelevant because black you can print as a solid black ink and you don't need a Pantone for it. So this leaves us really with just our all black and all white versions. And this is totally fine. It's okay to delete all of these extra versions that are redundant. So now when you click export print logos, only the relevant black and white options will be generated. So that's how you can exclude logo variations from your logo packages using Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.